chosen to save our planet from an evil darkness and lead seven pandas to reclaim the seven mystical beams of power. Join us as we discover that good and evil isn't always black and white. Oh, Layla? Can I help you? You're not still mad at me for sending our daughter away to go save the pandas. No, I'm feeling much better since you've been sleeping in the garage. Mama! Papa! Hmm? I found him, the Chosen One! Remember the one they called Toby? Don't let the name faze you. He's definitely the Chosen One! Toby? That wonderful little panda? I know, but there's one little problem. He's applying for another job. But... We need someone to work on this full time. If you don't convince him to help, then there's no hope left for Planet Pandasia. Don't worry, Father. I know what I have to do. After I go shoe shopping, I will convince Toby to help me save the planet. I promise. Mm-hmm. We're counting on you. Me? I've got to hit the road. <gasps> Wait, Toby! Gotta run. Ciao for now. I hope she comes through. Oh, simmer down. You're always so grumpy when you don't get enough sleep. <sighs> Daddy! Whoa! Bean TV! I've always dreamt of working here. Toby, did you know working at a television station is statistically the most dangerous job in the world? Gee, I've never heard of that before. Are you sure that's true? Of course, silly. I'm a fairy. Well, I'm willing to take that chance. Toby! Huh? Over here! And hurry! It's about to start. Hang on, love. I'm coming. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Remember what I said. TV stations are dangerous? Exacto mundo. <laughs> hey, guys! Excuse me, buddy, but skateboards are a no-no, so you mind handing it over? Uh, sure. Here you go. And no pets. What? I'll look after him. Thanks. Oh. Thanks a bunch. I'm glad to do it. <laughs> hey, Casanova, you mind backing off of my girl? Wrong way, bumpkin! <laughs> okay, you can start now. We're here. Huh? Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Bean Television. It's nice to see so many applying for a job here at the station. Remember, we're looking for raw talent, so good luck! Hey, what's going on here? It looks like you're not the only one up for the job. And round one is about to start with the obstacle race around Bean Island. A race? Bean TV's first reality show, The Applicant, is off to a rip-roaring start in deciding who will be our newest employee. Good luck, Toby! And we'll be waiting at the finish line. Dee-dee! But where is the finish line? Follow me and I'll show you. No way! How about you follow me, cool? Sorry, pal, but I'm dating love and she's the boss's daughter. Oh. And that makes me the next president of Bean TV, my friend. Later! The first obstacle is for all applicants to prove their strength by lifting and wheeling their corn cob to checkpoint A. And don't worry, no corny jokes. Huh? The applicants must now choose a gate to deliver their corn to. But hold on to your hats, there's a catch. Only one gate has an exit to continue, and if you don't pick the right gate, you're out of the game. So don't touch that remote and stay tuned to the applicant. Can you see Toby? I can't tell the difference. They all look alike. As 
you can see behind me, this show is popping with excitement as only 400 applicants remain in the game. And if you think these pandas are in vain, think again. These are the lucky ones. You made it through, Toby. Are you sure that's Toby? The game continues as the applicants attempt to jump to the island. Oh, I can't uh, bear to look. This is bad. Toby can't swim. Welcome back to the second round of Bean TV's reality series, The Applicant. Ah! Excuse me, heads up, coming through. easy being the chosen one. You'll have to stick around and chat, Lumpy, but I got a race to win. Try that again and you're on your own, mister. <laughs> okay, it looks like Cool is the first applicant to arrive at checkpoint B. Hope you're hungry. <laughs> Nothing says loving like corn from Max's oven. Dig in, son, because you can't go on until it's all gone. Well, I didn't come here to lose, so here goes nothing. Ah. Chef Max has created a delicious corn cob treat, glazed with a vanilla icing topping and spicy jalapeno sprinkles. Yummy. My unique recipe and others are now available through the special TV offer. Ugh, I'm stuffed. You still have to consume my consomme, which I personally strained through my gym sock. You're kidding me. Yes, it's decision time for Cool. Does he have the stomach to continue, or does he throw in the napkin? This job is mine, and it's time to prove it. Cool, Silver. At your yes, service, sir. evil King Audie. I sent you on a quest to retrieve the lost bean. Where is it? Uh, <laughs> Well, we don't exactly, uh... You know what he's trying to say is that we have it, but it's not here right now. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Wrong answer, you incompetent fools. If it's not here, then where is it? <laughs> it's still stuck in Didi's stomach. Oh, great one. Give us another chance, kind sire. All right, consider this your lucky day. Oh, thank you. We won't fail this time, sire. <laughs> you thinking what I'm thinking? We're in trouble. Galu, I want you to keep an eye on them for me. Yes, sire, I will. <laughs> <laughs> when I get those seven beans, my evil plan will come to fruition, and I will rule all of Pantasia. I can't move. Ta-da! Oscar here at Checkpoint B, and Cool remains in the lead with a slurpy finish to his second course. But wait! I sure hope you saved room for dessert, because you're going to need it. <laughs> Toby, maybe you just better stick to being the chosen one. It's a lot safer. No way. This is my lifelong dream, and I'm going to win this job. <laughs> no, don't fool around. <laughs> Who's fooling around? <sighs> <laughs> I am the humble servant of the evil King Adi. Not good. <laughs> hey, what is that thing? Oh, I told you to keep your mouth shut, but oh no, you think you would ever listen to anything I ever say? Toby, look! That's gold and silver. We've got to get out of here and fast. Let's roll. 
You sure think you're Mr. Big Shot, don't you? Well, what I'd like to know is who couldn't make you boss? You couldn't lead an ant to a picnic. <laughs> They're having fun. Pick up the pace, would ya? Hey, I'm ahead of you. <laughs> I'm starting to cram. Oh, I'll give you a cram. Interesting. That gives me an idea. <laughs> We've been turned into panda sickles! <laughs> hey, what just happened? Oh, me. I've done well. You mind butting out, Galoo? Uh, hey, zip it, would ya? <laughs> we'll nab him with this. Daddy? Oh, what do you think Daddy? you're doing, Daddy? <sighs> Thanks, buddy. Take this! Ow! Thank you! Oh. Uh. Galu wants to play too. Then how about giving us a hand around here? Galu's not really a hands-on kind of minion. On second thought, I have to get back for nappy time. Uh. Silver, quick, grab my paw! Oh, thanks, big guy! Not so fast, Sonny. You don't understand. I don't have time for this. Hope you're hungry. Here we come! I'd love to stay, but I gotta run. Like you're the only one in a hurry, kid? Huh, check this out. My tropical corn cobbler has a hint of navel lint and a dash of dandruff. Now dig in, Toby. <laughs> yeah, sounds delicious. Whoa, that's good! Come on, we don't have time for this! Oh, me! You gotta try this! I can't let the bumpkin beat me! That was awesome! Time for your second course! A lovely corn chowder with chili powder and ground sour spider powder! <gasps> Down the hatch! And finally, a corn cake. Dig in. Ah, I'm in heaven. <laughs> oh, baby. You grab the little rat. So oh, you grab him. Okay, boys, this is the last one. So strap the feed bag on. Sorry, Pops. We ain't hungry. Are you insinuating you don't like my cooking? Huh? Oh, no. In fact, it looks scrumptious. I'm out of here. Thank you, Max. Daddy! I'll teach you two to insult the chef. You had to open your big mouth! Oscar here at the third and final leg of the race, the obstacle course. Whoever completes this first leg will become the newest employee of the Bean TV family. Come back here! You're not done yet! Oh, no! Watch it, klutz. <gasps> cool. Why don't we work as a team? <laughs> yeah, right. First you hit on my girlfriend, and now you expect me to do a favor for you. What do you think I am, some kind of sap? Hey, would you please get over yourself already? <clears throat> don't be a wise guy, Toby. And I think your voice is starting to change. But cool, I didn't say anything. Ah, don't give me that. You're the only one here. But cool. <gasps> Don't move. Come on, go let him have it. Move it, pal. <laughs> Toby, hang on. <laughs> and Toby is the first to clear the tire swings of doom, folks. I'll show him. Uh. Hey, dudes. <laughs> We snagged the wrong one! That's just great! So now what do we do, Einstein? You think we should just unhook him? Oh, careful there, guys! Ah! Where am I? And what happened? Huh? Huh? Oh! What's this? 
Oh, goody. It looks like one of our leaders, Cool, has taken a tragic fall. Cool. <laughs> Hello. Wait a minute. Some creepy bat thing. He just snatched up two contestants. The timing couldn't be better. We'll be right back. Don't try it. But what about Cool? If you ask me, I say we leave him. Yeah, but what if he's hurt? Well, I guess he finally got what was coming to him then. Heads up! Huh? Coming through! <laughs> Would you please get it in gear? Hurry up and win so you can turn down the job, chosen one. I gotta do this. <sighs> oh, man, this will be the first time I've ever lost. Cool, are you all right? Why are you doing this? Hey, I'm sure you'd do the same for me, right, Cool? Well... Move it, pal! Ah! Not likely. I know you were just trying to win so you could work at Bean TV, and I respect that. You should go. Not without you. Uh huh? Come on, Cool, we have a race to win. It's your loss. Okay, let me know if you're uncomfortable. Come on, let's do this. Toby, I'm uncomfortable. And so you should be time you got what's coming to you. You just hang in there, Cool. You know, there's still a good chance one of us could win. Give me a break! Don't you get it? I was never, ever going to help you! Never! Come on, Cool. Knock it off! If you keep moving around like that, you're gonna fall off! Oh. <gasps> I knew this would happen! My ankle. This... this whole thing is a total mess. Huh? Why is it my plans never work out? I figured I could win this race if I stalled you. And now, I'm a loser. Quit being so hard on yourself, Cool. You actually saved me, and now I owe you one. Huh? You might want to wash your face now. Hey, let's just call it even. It's not such a big deal. Why does my heart hurt? <laughs> How are you hanging in there? Hey, you think maybe we could hit a drive through? <sighs> you can put me down. Uh uh, wouldn't think of it. Toby? Toby, mind if I walk? But, are you sure? Me riding piggyback isn't too cool. I hear you. Next time you'll be toast, Toby. Okay. Okay, they're almost here, folks. And it looks like this one's going to be a tie. They battled injuries, but nothing can stop them now. Good golly, this is what I call real teamwork. <sighs> That's it! Give it up for... <laughs> oh no, what am I thinking? I didn't win. I came in in last place. Congratulations, son. Huh? You really impressed me. You showed everyone here what teamwork is all about. So I'm hiring all 400 contestants. Huh? huh? Are you serious, sir? I thought you were going to pick the contest winner. Oh, this whole event had nothing to do with winning. I was looking for contestants who made the race exciting. Now you're one of 400 winners. Uh, <laughs> uh. Well, love, it looks like in the end, I'm still in the running to take over the station from your dad. You better be careful, Cool. Toby's competition. Mm, I'm competition. 
Aw, he's so cute when he's nerdy. Next time, Cool and I start our first day down at Bean TV. As usual, Cool decides to take the easy road and start stealing scoops. Meanwhile, I get chased by zombies and learn a little more about the power of the Valor Bean. All this next time on Pandalian.